Sometimes you don't really know the answers until it's far too late. Sometimes there's no answers at all. Sometimes questions are the only answers you'll ever get. More questions. You, you, keep, you find one answer, the answer will lead to inevitable uh, variety of questions. That's the problem with scientism. That's the problem with a lot of Western uh, technologies and inventions. They perpetuate the idea of lack and distance and, uh, and they kind of just lead you into a world of chaos of sorts, you know. You know, you never, you never really ever get an answer, you know, unless, unless you make one, I guess, for yourself. Um, but I guess, I guess what's more important is that the answer's kind of already there, you know. It's really nothing you gotta find. It's something that's, you, you, you just gotta, you know, become aware of it, you know, kind of see it, because it's there. It's always there, you know, it's never not there, you know. The answer, it comes and it goes, you know, it comes and it goes. We, we get glimpses of it because of our, I guess, physical limitations in this body of sorts, you know, but you know it's there, you gotta just act, you gotta believe it's there. And once you believe it's there, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna allow it to manifest in a lot of different ways. And your awareness of it will then, you know, broaden in horizons, you know. It's a beautiful thing, really, you know, it's never anything more than that, you know, it's just kind of, you know, becoming, you know, open your eyes, I guess, so to say, you know, open up your, your big eyeballs, you know, looking at the world, you know, it's, stop, you know, looking at it from this, like, you're looking at the world through a straw, you know, never do that, that's, that's where you, that's where you find, you know, yourself in traps and stuff, you know, it's, 